hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time watching um please hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell so that you can get notifications every time i make a video and today we're going to be doing a little plant talk i haven't done this was supposed to be a 30-day plant talk videos and i have been slacking because i really didn't think the interest was there um but <laughs> and i got some comments and needless to say the interest is there so, but I am changing it up a little bit. This video is going to be a little longer. So this is some plant talk and chit chat. So to begin with, what's been going on? Well, y'all know I live in South Carolina. And for those of you who don't know, I live in Charleston, South Carolina area. Mm -hmm. 20 miles from the city of Charleston, from my front door to downtown. So y'all know what happened this past week. <laughs> Hurricane Dorian decided that she was coming through or he I don't know Dorian seems like it can go either way So, you know, they were coming through Dorian was coming through and you know Dorian started off as a little five <laughs> Cat five down in the Bahamas. God bless those people down there and thank you. Oof, hope everybody's five. Okay, here we go That's a pepper. I need to shut this door. This is a pepper has Has come in and see now I, I now I keep treats up here at the ready for her. Hey, girl. Hey, you want to come and say hi? Okay, and then you're going to leave. <laughs> Ow! So here's Pepper. <laughs> here's Pepper, and she's going to get one of her treats right now. And Pepper's gotten so big, she's no longer this little puppy. I'll, let me see if I can. Push. She just had her 16-week sh shot, and... <laughs> this small dog weighs 20 pounds so this is 20 pounds 11 here okay i hear ginger 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 you coming oh y'all y'all never see ginger anymore there's ginger hey ginger hey okay hey girl hey you want you a treat too here you go come over here and get your treat Come on, come on this side of me. Say, okay, let me see so y'all can see Ginger. Ginger, wait. Ginger, it's like she knows she's being filmed. Ginger, come. Here, mommy has your treat. Come here. Come here, Ginger. Come on. She's like, Psh, got pepper in you. Okay, and there's Ginger. And that's all you're going to see because Ginger's done with Pepper. Ginger is done with Pepper <laughs> because Pepper's a very active puppy. And like if she could get down right now, she would try and steal Ginger's food. This dog has loads of personality and I love her a bunch. And you would never know that she got some shots. But she weighs 20 pounds. And you know, I'm going to put her down. She's heavy. Love you. Love, love you. <laughs> okay. Very active. If you... Whew, if you don't have a Boston Terrier in your life, I'm not going to say I recommend one. Boston Terrier has a lot, lots of energy, I'm discovering. So, but yeah. So anyway, going to go ahead and kick them out of here. Because they're going to keep bothering me. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. They're back. Look, I tried. I tried to take them out. Ginger gave me that little sad look on her face. It was like, you really going to kick me out, mama? I was like, no. And so Pepper left, and I was like, okay, cool. Pepper's gone, you know. Pepper don't roll without Ginger, you know. So, so they're here, and hopefully they'll lay down in a sec. Pepper gets on Ginger's last damn nerves. <laughs> like Ginger is over this puppy thing. Um, there's not a lot of fighting or any. There's not a lot of fighting at all, but there is a lot. Look, I'm gonna go here. Stop following me. Why are you following me? I'm over here. Go, okay, I'm leaving again. Like, Ginger makes it a point to get away. But anyway, like, yeah, Hurricane Dorian came through this last week. Um, and I, so that's why I didn't post any videos. I mean, I just was, I, I was panicked. I was like, because she was a five, he or she, the hurricane was a five in the Bahamas. And as it's making its way up here, you know, they really didn't know what it was going to do. And my husband didn't want to leave. <laughs> I was like, let's leave. <laughs> so 
so eventually we did leave and I'm glad because at the last minute or um, we left right before she became a three and I was like whoa and then I came back um, because she hovered overnight and I should have filmed I should have took my camera out so you can see some of the damage that she caused just in my colder sack um, she tore she tore a little bit of the dog park up like um, half the fence of it is down um, one of our huge oak trees are down um, lots and lots of people are still without power I'm fortunate I do have power back um, but and they weren't getting you know, this is Sunday and Dorian happened on Thursday um, so it was just I left town on Wednesday it was just crazy it's crazy and we get hurricanes every year but for some you know what you know I was just like I don't feel this one I ain't feeling it I gotta go so but we're fine my family's fine and that is annoying okay so I'm fine my family's fine my dogs are fine I um, yeah so that's why you haven't seen me it's because of Hurricane Dorian and so today we're going to talk about well let me tell you what I'm drinking I always forget that but you know I don't come on camera unless I have a drink and today y'all I just got a straw in the can this is so ratchet I guess that people are still saying that but I don't care I got I got some other bad news today that I don't want to talk about or I got it yesterday and it's really upsetting news and I'm not gonna talk about it I'm not gonna talk about it a bunch I'm just gonna talk about it enough to say someone I admired respected and didn't realize how much I loved has passed away and that person because of that person she taught me initially about plants um, and because of because of her this is why I'm doing this channel like um, she didn't have anything to do with the channel but her but she inspired it and um, she taught me about plants she she initiated plants to me I have several plants in my home from her as gifts so okay so that's all I'm gonna say about that um, so and I decided that I was gonna do this video you hear them that's this is what I'm talking about with puppies and plants y'all you see this you see that a pepper cannot help herself and that jingling I'm gonna have to kick them out I need to get a silencer but those are her dog tags because she just got her rabies shots and you know how to give them the tag and so I attached the tag along with her other tag that just says pepper and I belong here and mommy's ugly crying you know get me home on her because she's not microchipped yet and she's going to get microchipped and she's going to get spayed and she's going to get microchipped and spayed at the same time so we're going to do that next month for her because you know i ain't doing it this month but if she doesn't sit still i'm gonna have to take her out of here because it's going to ruin my video so okay so what are we talking about today get your drinks so i'm up here i'm drinking um a cherry lime rita mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is not, it's the first one I had, and it's not my favorite by any means, but I got a regular Rita down there, so I will be killing that today. Yes, I am. What I was doing today was um, preparing, preparing for this video, watching the Washington Redskins first half of the game. They were kicking ass. I'm a huge Washington Redskins fan. Um, born and raised in Washington, D.C. What up, D.C.? Hey, DMV. Whoop. Um, and now second half, third quarter, why the Eagles leading by one? So I had to walk away because, you know, I'm one of those fans that yell and scream. I don't care if it's opening day in an Eagle land. I want, you know, I want my team to win. But that's not what we're here to talk about. And so I guess I'm going to put a little time up there. So I'm going to put a time in now. And at the beginning of the video, I will put a time in it. So, but the plant that we're going to discuss today, let me see if I can, I can't pronounce it. I'm going to call it um, philodendron. There's several types of philodendron, so here's this long name. Philodendron bit, can't do it. I'm going to put it up here. 
Also, this philodendron is also known as peppermint. So they're gone. Um, also known as the lace tree philodendron, the split leaf philodendron, and the fiddle leaf philodendron. And this is what I'm going to insert a picture of what a philodendron is supposed to look like. <laughs> Yep, that's, so this is, um, and you can buy them like this, and you, you know, they're very, very lovely plants, very attractive plants. I think they are. And of course, they, and one of the nicest thing about them is they, they're really low maintenance. Now that you've seen what it should look like, this is what I bought, and I'm going to insert the cutaway to that picture right now. Okay, so yeah. My split leaf philodendron, I brought this on clearance with two stalks. And I was fine with it because I didn't know at the time, um, it was over a year ago, I didn't really know that much about philodendrons. I knew they were supposed to be fuller, but this was a plant that was literally on clearance for like either five, between five and ten dollars. I didn't, sp I don't even think I spent nowhere near ten dollars. I think it was like around seven dollars is what I got it was got it at and I was like I don't know anything about this plant it's uh if I'm going to kill it and all the and it had other full-size plants but this one was seven dollars this was seven dollars compared to what it's supposed to look like which was 30 and I was like okay well I'm gonna get the seven dollar one and so then um after a few months with it um those two long stalks just decided to die slowly but surely they just died. They just, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Still to this day, I don't know why. Um, if I had to guess, it's because it wanted to focus more on growing out its root system. And that side died. The one leaf died. And then two to three weeks later, the other leaf died. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I lost the plant. And I literally left it there and forgot about it because it was in my, um, it was in my spare room. And it turned out, came back a couple of weeks later and this is what it gave me so yeah so then I was like oh okay this is growing and that was in February of this year so in February this is what is how it started to grow here's a couple of pictures of what it looked like and I when I tell you this is a low maintenance plant I mean it because I would sporadically water this and I would be like oh okay it's growing it's growing now that was back in February now here we are in September, and this is what it looks like now. Oh, let me back up. <laughs> I don't even think I can get it all on camera. Uh, but yeah, this is what my um, five to seven dollar philodendron looks like now. And this is growth from, to be I'm perfectly honest, I'm perfectly serious. This is growth from February to September, and it has grown indoors the entire time. It sat in the room right, right next door, so it has an east-facing window that it faces, so it's a nice sunny room, um, and it gets some filtered light. And as you can see, if you look really close, you see this plant is leaning, to, it's reaching for the light, and this is my fault because I never turned it. So it's balling on this side. So this is the exact same plant, and I was, I'm, I'm just shocked. I, I, I'm shocked because um, when you go back to how I originally um, brought it, I never imagined that that plant would look like this. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And it is a huge plant, and I will give you a whole still life of it for a second. But, um, come back. Yep. So, if you don't have this plant, I'm going to recommend this plant and I'm going to recommend it for, for as a, a level what I consider one two or three low medium and damn hard or low or uh, easy intermediate and downright hard this is a one this is easy this is an easy easy <laughs> easy plant and and I'm saying that because I've literally done nothing but water it and kept it in a sunny room I, I've done nothing to it other than that. And I have fertilized it. I will take that back. I, I have fertilized it. Um, 
I fertilized it when I saw the new growth was starting to come out um, for the very first time and I fertilized it then and I think I fertilized it two two times since then but um, very easy plant um, this plant has been neglected um, the time that my sister was here she said she overwatered it I don't think she did I think she um, didn't water it at all and it did die back a little bit um, but this is a very hardy plant and it came back and um, gonna show you guys I have to I have I brought it in here to move it you see this here we'll talk about this in a little bit later on in the video but yep so this plant I would say if you're first starting out and you want a big lovely plant in your home and you don't want to have to worry about it this plant along um, with the Monstera Deliciosos because I would say that's an easy plant as well um, are great plants to have in your home for beginners so you should go out and get it and you might be like okay well what makes this um, okay so it's low maintenance I've already said it's very very low maintenance um, you can grow this indoors and out uh, this is the hardiest um, in outdoor I was it's hardiest in zones 9 through 11 I live in zone 8b so I, I do think it would be hardy for my my area too because we have really really tropical summers here um and that's the ideal conditions for this plant um but if you do decide to grow it in outdoors i um, grow it in a pot and keep it outdoors just remember that here in my area we get a late winter around usually middle january february and temperatures do drop below 60 here and this plant does not agree with 60 degree fahrenheit and below so you want to bring it inside if you decide to do that if you don't live in those zones, um, keep it out, bring it outside, and just remember it likes tropical conditions. So if you're in a dry climate with this particular plant, I think you should just grow it indoors, you know. Um, but you can, you can grow it outside if you decide to, especially if you're in Southern California. Or, um, well, that's sort of tropical. <laughs> so maybe you're not in Southern California, maybe you're in Arizona. <laughs> or in New Mexico or someplace like that and you want to grow this outdoors you can you just have to keep in mind that you're probably going to be missing this plant um, to give it that that humid that humidity that it needs and that you're just going to keep it more in shade um, it doesn't it doesn't need the harsh the direct Sun it won't do well in that so yeah but an indoor plant um, in an indoor plant just keep it in a nice bright room with filtered sunlight so no indirect sunlight but it can be close like this plant honestly I actually it was about maybe six or seven feet away from the window and I moved it as close as a uh, probably about two feet away and I filtered the sunlight because it, was, it just wanted it and you can tell by the way my plant is growing that it was actually reaching for that Sun so I just decided to move it there plant does great in it um, I love it I love this plant um, I love this plant because I literally didn't have to do anything and it lived and um, so if you've experienced something similar to what I have experienced where the stocks have just grown back and you thought that was it and the sucker was don't throw it away don't throw it away just give it a little water keep it in the bright room and just let's just see let's just see because when it died back i was like and i think what happened was is that it died back to concentrate on the root system and then it fed its new growth because it was probably lacking because at that point i hadn't fertilized it so it was probably lacking some nutrition i don't know i'm just speculating but i'm not kidding um they say that this is a slow growing plant I don't have anything to compare to that so I'm just gonna take their word for it um, to me it seems like it's growing really well considering since February of this year and now we're in September so what is that six months March April May June July August September so seven months and I've, and I've gotten a lot of new growth however this is still an infantile plant this is not fully mature um, and so in that sense then yeah I guess it is a slow grower but um since i've had it i have had nothing I, I don't have anything but great things to say you know it's the best this is probably the best seven dollars i ever spent and not knowing it was going to be that because i was and prior to february I, I guess it is a slow grower because prior to february 
I had had it for a while and it didn't do anything. It just had those two mature stalks sticking out there and I and no growth whatsoever. Um, okay, so what else about this plant? Um, it doesn't have a, there's no specific pest disease particular to this plant that you need to worry about. It does, it can attract the common ones such as mealybugs, spider mouse, um, aphids and those, those type of things. And that comes, that comes with the territory with indoor plants I'm discovering. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. Um, they say that, um, they say, I do my research. This plant blooms. It does, and, and it's, it's considered a rarity for it to bloom. I don't know if it's a rarity or not. I just think it has to be fully mature. And for these plants to mature, it takes about 15 to 20 years to be a well-established um, plant. So if you've owned it for a very long time, you should see it bloom as long as you're just keeping it in the proper conditions. Um, fertilizing. I fertilize this now once a month. Uh, and I use um, fish emulsions, emotion, emulsions, emotion. Uh, I want to say emulsions, but it's, it's fish. I'll just put the name up. <laughs> um, I use that. Um, it does not get fertilized every time I water it. I probably, I probably fertilize this plant about once a month. Um, this plant is medium watering, which um, and it seems to thrive well in that. And when I say about medium watering, because I know we get questions, what is a medium watering? Um, don't let it completely dry out, but don't keep it soaking wet, and it doesn't need to be... Oh, my goodness. You can probably get away with watering this every 14 days. Every, where you, I have plants that I need to water every week. That I, I, had, that I have plants that I need to be on a schedule with every week. This plant, you can get away with it for 14 days without watering it, and it's going to be fine. It's going to be totally fine. You can probably even push it as much as three weeks. I don't. And then when... Um, if you watch my videos... You know I like to drench this. This plant I don't. This plant is, I just, I wish I had, I wish this plant, oh it is. Okay, yeah, I didn't know. Okay, see this, this is a self, I don't know if you can see it. This is a self-feeding water plant. So you can actually put water in here and come back and see if it's gone and that's it. Like, and then fill it up again, you know, that's it. And then of course, use your water meter. Uh, my plant does need to be watered today and um, it will get a drench today um, and that's because if you look here at the leaves and you can see that yellowing there um, well this plant is sensitive to salt minerals and that's why these leaves are yellowing right now um, because and I've noticed this so one thing that you can do is when you see this, and unfortunately, don't do it until you see it. Um, and it, I'm getting that, starting to get it on a bunch of leaves. Um, what you can do is you can really rinse it through really, really thorough to get all those minerals, as much salt minerals off as possible. But that is the, the main thing that um, this plant is really sensitive to. Um, you, it can be tolerant of them, so you don't have to do this. But you no, know, if you don't do it, then this you're just gonna have these yellow leaves. I don't want it, um, and for this, I let my plant completely dry out, and it's gonna get a really, really good soak today. I'm trying to get the leaf. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, I'm gonna move the leaf. Ugh. So today, I'm going to um, place it underneath. Take it down to my kitchen sink and i'm just going to drench it with water i'm going to let the water run completely out of the bottom of it probably drench it for about um five minutes no more just to get as much salt deposited to run really through that um another thing that you can do is um if you decide to keep your pot planted in the ground outside the one thing you want to keep in mind is that you need to have, make sure you have a well draining soil and try to stick to organic materials um, soil as much as possible okay um propagating you can propagate this plant this through my research i've shown they said you can um and if you decide to do it then you need it to have at least two stops uh, i am all for propagating but i would do it by division where i would literally just take the plant completely unpotted or i keep saying that dig it up 
and then divide it that way through the root systems and plant it back in. Um, but through my research, was not, I, 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 not, I don't really want to talk too much about it because I'm not really too sure clear on it because I've never done it myself and I, and I won't be doing it um, anytime soon because this plant is very still in its emphasized stage and I don't want to do it. But um, since you need two, what I read, you need minimum of two stalks. So that would be this. And then you would cut it. Okay, so this is the main stock that all of this has grown from. So I wouldn't cut that. But if you wanted to, you would cut it at the base of this stock right down here. I don't know if you can see that. And then you're supposed to be able to place it in water. Um if you want to try it, let me. If you if you if you propagated um, this plant before and you have a better sense, let me know how to do it. As you can see, this plant also has air roots that it grows out, and yay! Because um, air roots to me is a sure sign that a plant is doing well when you see these air roots. So the more the better. Um, it just started producing air roots a little bit ago, so it's in. Uh, what kind of soil is this in? I don't, I don't know. It's been so long ago, but it's probably in Echoscape, which is, um, it's in that, comes in a big blue bag, and it's organic. So, organic. Nick. So, yep, that's about that. What else can I tell you about this plant, y'all? Ooh, just trying to do this checklist. Mm. Uh, well, okay, so is it toxic to plants? Is it toxic to plants, Lord? Is it toxic to animals? Yes. This is toxic to your pets. This is very toxic, very toxic to your um, dogs and cats. And um, to the point where the, um, if your plant, if your plant, geez, maybe I should stop. Nope. If your pet gets a hold of this plant, you want to pay and starts chewing on it you want to pay attention to your pet afterwards it's extremely important like you want to monitor which brings me to this to this leaf here this is a pepper chew pepper chewed on this leaf okay okay and immediately when any of my pets chew well any of my pets when pepper because it's just pepper. It's not ginger. It's pepper the puppy is doing this. And anytime I catch her chewing on a plant, I immediately go to um, the, and I'm going to say this wrong, but I immediately go to the ASPCA site, ASPCA website. And um, it will tell you that website, you can type any plant in, the name of that plant, into that website and it will tell you and you don't even need the latin name you can type in the common name for that plant and it will tell you whether or not this plant is toxic to your animals i will leave a link to it in this video it tells you the symptoms you need to look for in the case of this plant um you want this plant will intensely burn their mouths lips tongue um they will have excessive drooling and they will have um and they will become and they um will vomit and it also will be very difficult for them to swallow and if you notice any of those symptoms after your plant after, i'm just gonna do this one again do it again get in contact with your um with your vet take them to um emergency I'm going to say emergency room, but there are emergency room for pets. And if you ever have any questions about whether or not a plant is dangerous to you, you can simply just do Google and just type in, is this philodendron by philodendron? Is this tree philodendron? And that's what I typed into Google. That's what I typed in, not to Google, to the ASPCA. Um, tree tree philodendron is it poisonous you can google that it'll take you like the first site is going to take you to is the ascpa site and um what it's going to do it's going to tell you what you should do and i'm and with this particular plant is told me contact your veterinarian take your dog take your pet into um the hospital so that's how serious this is 
and and here you can see pepper chewed on this and um i watched for those symptoms and i did not see any symptoms because i caught her when she was doing it and so just to keep that in mind um keep just know what plants are safe for your dogs and that brings up a very interesting topic i'm going to come back with the next plant video um plant talk video sometime this week and it'll probably be the only one i'll do this week because i still got some stuff going on here um but and the next one i'll bring up is safe for your pets because i think that's important for especially if you're a beginner and you want to go out here and buy pets because we i'm um, pets if you want to buy plants because we love our pets and we want to keep them safe and so, yeah, you just want to get out here and you just want to know. So I hope you guys found this video informative. It was long um, because I was, you know, I love my pets. And they got to be with me everywhere I go these days. And thank you for those who watched my last video. And you, you said Basil is a great name. Thank you. Thank you. I think so either. You're probably like, where is Basil? Working on the husband, okay? He loves dogs. If I get the dog in the house, I'm good. I'm good. Because he cannot send a dog away. He cannot. He loves them too much. But um, and he won't visit. Um, he's like, he can't stand to see him in kennels. That's why Pepper won't is not in one. That's why Pepper won't be one in his house. He just It just breaks his heart. Um, she has a kennel. She's never in it. Um, um, he will not go to shelters um, to rescue a dog because he can't take them all and he will turn into a crying, an uh, ugly crier because uh, that's just how much he has this in, just, or just passion for dogs, for um, pets, for dogs so, and cats, but he knows I don't want a cat. So just keeping that in mind. So, but Basil is coming for those of you who care. It's coming. It's gonna take me a minute. Might take me maybe the end of this year, another year to get it. Cause he ain't trying to hear it right now. And that's because of Pepper. Pepper keeps us busy. She she does. She's entertaining, she's lovely, but she's a puppy and she has tons and tons of energy and we don't. <laughs> so but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please come back next time for more Latanya. You know what? From your tipsy planner, Latanya. Mm-hmm. See you next time. Bye, y'all.